Hey y'all, hi. Okay, continuing the declutter series, mascara is getting its own video because I feel like there are just enough. There are just enough mascaras for it to have its own video and this way I can be detailed about every single one. I'm excited about this one because it's gonna be extreme. X, X, extreme mascara declutter. I really am hoping only to keep two, maybe three. Of course, now that I said that, I'll probably end up keeping five. Most of these though have got to go. As with every declutter, I'm gonna establish here at the beginning that I do this for a job. So I have way more mascaras than I ever owned at one time before I started a YouTube channel. I would not buy this many mascaras at once, especially mascara. You know what I mean? It's something you're really only supposed to use for three months. I push it sometimes four or five, but some of these are older than that. As a regular makeup consumer, I tended to own one mascara at a time. This is a function of the fact that I review makeup as part of my job. And I also didn't buy any of these. They're either sent to me for a review. Oh no, I bought the Gucci one. I bought the Gucci one last year to wear when I got married, but I didn't buy any of these as a consumer. Some of them I purchased with my channel's budget for review to create a video, but they were all either bought by my channel or sent to me for the purposes of making content. Mascara is one of my most used types of makeup, so I actually have gotten pretty good use out of all of these, except for the ones that are on the newer side or the ones that I really don't like. And because of that, I can give you some detailed information about all of them, but it's definitely time for me to minimize in this area. If you are new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe, especially if you like this video, because I'm in the middle of a big declutter series. There are gonna be a bunch more of these on the channel soon. Let's go ahead and get into the meat of this video. Ooh, they're looking so grubby. Let's just go one by one. This is on the new side for me. It is the Make Beauty Lash Prototype Mascara. I recently reviewed a bunch of Make Beauty makeup and this mascara is from that video. It is a wildly black, wildly wet, inky, messy mascara. And at the beginning I didn't like it because it was so wet that it made all my lashes stick together. I have started wiping off the brush on the mascara tube like this, and then also going so far as to actually wipe off most of the mascara from the brush with a tissue. I'm like wiping and wiping this mascara before using it. But when I do that and I go in with kind of a dry brush just with a little coat of it on the bristles, I love it. It makes my lashes long and wispy and floofy in that kind of dry, elegant way. It's very, very lengthening and volumizing when used that way. Even though there's been such a learning curve and it's such an unusual process for me because I usually just go in with the gunkiest wand possible. Since I figured out how to use it, this has been my favorite mascara. And it's also, you know, fresh because I just did that review last month. So this is gonna be one of the few that I keep. Isamaya Rubber Lash. I loved it at the beginning and I loved the rubberized packaging. However, it got very dirty very quickly and it started drying out. It got super gummy. The wand, which I really liked initially because I had so much control with it and could coat every lash with you know, what was a really gunky mascara until it got gummy. It started to feel really rough on my lashes, kind of pull on them. It's like it worked for a little while, but it was pretty short lived and I ended up not really liking it. It can definitely go. City Beauty Beyond Mascara. This is actually a great mascara. It's really lengthening. It's a nice in-between of wet and dry. It's just a really, really good solid mascara. I'd say if you're placing an order from City Beauty, like for their lip plumper, which is the kind of thing I would go out of my way to purchase from City Beauty, and you need a mascara, you could reliably add this to your cart and like use it for three or four months. I think it's the kind of thing that will work really well for everyone. For me, it, I used it a lot. Um, it's old though. I mean, it, it's much be more than six months old, so it's definitely time for it to go. This is a really interesting mascara. It's the Kill Lash from Clio Beauty. My friend Becca gave this to me when I saw her last. It is really buildable and it has this really tiny wand. So I think it's good if you have short lashes and you really wanna build on them. I think it, it's kind of heavy duty, but I have one huge problem with it, which is that it's so heavy duty that it dries really hard. And I think that that's part of what makes it buildable. Like you swipe it on your lashes and it dries and it's really, really sturdy and you can build on 
that and it dries and you can build on that and it dries. But I tend to wiggle the brush of my mascaras right at the base of my lashes, like right up almost underneath my lash line. And I often get a little bit of mascara right into my waterline, like my upper waterline and kind of build it there to build depth at the base of the lashes. And when I do that with this, it dries hard. It's like a little bit of mascara gets into my waterline and it dries hard. And then when I blink, it scratches my eyes. And I tried it a couple of times before I realized that it was this that was causing it, but it's like completely untenable. I get it on my eyes and I'm in pain. Like I just can't wear it. I'm sure that I could make it work if I didn't apply it so aggressively. You know what I mean? If I just applied it in a more wispy way, more on my lashes and I didn't try so hard to work it into the base of my lashes, but I'm trying to simplify. I have other mascaras that work better. I'm kind of afraid of it, so I'm going to declutter it. Ilia Limitless Lash, one of my hero products. This is such a great mascara. This was PR a while back. It's great because it has this long spiky side. Can you see that? The long side's on top and then the shorter, softer bristles are kind of like around the back of the barrel there. It's that long side that's really, really lengthening for my lashes and allows me to have a lot of control to comb through them. I always reach for this mascara when my mascara application is gone awry somehow and I need something to sort of save it, comb through it, make it less wet, keep my lashes from sticking together. However, this tube of Limitless Lash Mascara is too old to keep using. It's time for me to retire it. What's funny is when I was talking about this as a hero product, I talked about the fact that it's not the mascara, although the mascara is good, but it's really the wand that I find so useful. And in that moment, I was like, I'll probably wash off the wand and keep it so that I can keep using it for for that purpose after I'm done with the mascara. Because at that time, I sort of had a hard time thinking about being without the tool, this as a tool. But right now, while I'm decluttering everything and I'm trying to simplify and I just want to start kind of with a clean slate in the new year, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with that just extra tubeless mascara wand lying around sort of like as an extra mascara brush or as an extra makeup brush kind of. I would rather just risk it like a biscuit and use the mascaras that I have with the wands that they have. It's going to be fine. I don't need to hang on tightly to every scrap of use value that I have. I really enjoyed this when it was fresh and it's time for it to go. The Gen C mascara is quite new to me. They sent this to me as PR. This is very fresh. I just opened it and I actually, I intend to review this brand and I haven't even reviewed it yet. So technically this is in the wrong place because it should be with the makeup that I still haven't filmed with yet. But it's mixed into my mascaras. I've used it a couple times. I really like it. I'm gonna hang on to it because I'm still testing it, but also because I think it's good. It sort of reminds me of like an updated version of Too Faced Better Than Sex. Elf Big Mood, my favorite drugstore mascara. It's got this huge, chunky brush, and it gives me those huge, gunky lashes that I really love. I've just had this for more than six months. It's also starting to dry out. I mean, I know it's too old and it's also physically getting too old to really get a good lash out of, but this is absolutely firmly in the position of my number one drugstore mascara. If you're looking for a drugstore mascara that will bring the drama, I really recommend it. The Issa mascara, I always think of this as the true makeup artist mascara. Like, so much control, so much versatility, flawless every time, not too dramatic. Like, this is a great wispy lash mascara, but you can build if you want to, you know? It's just really well designed. And again, you know, Isum, it's like its own independent makeup artist brand. If you are placing an order from them for their lip liners or something and you need a mascara, I can endorse adding this one into your cart, just trying it, adding it on because it is a really good one. For me, again, I, I had it for a while. I used it a bunch. I had it for testing. I tested it. I reviewed it. And now it is just getting to the point where it's past its prime. So I'm going to let it go. Go. The Kosas Mascara. I just have a little sample size of this, but it was enough for me to find out that I love the way it goes on. It's so thick, lengthening. It's got that rich sort of velvety black quality. It's just a delight. And then it gets everywhere. It smears. It never really dries. It sort of stays like a gummy tar on my lashes, looking amazing and being a complete pain in the butt. And I, I just haven't worn it more than the couple times it took to figure that out. And I would not buy it. 
the Chantecai Limitless Lash Mascara. Probably my most used mascara of the year and one of my favorites of all time. It's just wildly expensive. Okay, so this is the old one. It has this packaging flaw. After you've been using it for a while, the lid comes off the lid. This is the mascara that I've used the most of all of the ones that I'm showing you right now. It's also a really great, kind of like the Isum and the City Beauty, it's a great all-purpose in-between. You know, it's, it's lengthening, it's somewhat thickening, it's beautiful, wispy, raspy, easy to get a soft lash look, but if you need to build and you keep working at it, you can get a built-up lash. I reach for it because it never does me dirty. I always get a great lash with it, and I also know that it has, like, lash growth growing serum in it. I think that's why they charge so much money for it. I mean, it is Chantikai, but it's they're also like, oh, you're treating your lashes and growing your lashes at the same time as you're putting on mascara. And I'm just a sucker for that. So this was really getting to the end of its life, both in terms of how long I had had it and also just it's um, it's gone. Like I had used it up. I, I was really pushing it. And I am delighted to report that they just sent me a couple more products and there was a new one included. So I am definitely keeping this one. This is like my go-to. It has honestly become my go-to. I feel really lucky to have this. And the Gucci mascara. It's too old to keep using. It's over a year old. Again, this is the one that I bought for myself. Kind of my favorite mascara because I love Gucci packaging. I love Gucci makeup. And so I got it for myself around the time I was getting married to be the mascara that I wore for that event. I think it's the only time I've spent this much on a mascara for myself. And it was a one-time thing. You know, I did it specifically because of getting married. I feel like the Gucci mascara, I have reviewed it pretty thoroughly. I'll try to link the videos in which I've done that and applied it up close. It brings the drama, but not too much. It's buildable if you build and build and build, but used in a normal way. It's just, it's actually kind of like a, a wispy, elegant mascara. To me, I love the fact that you can get that really dramatic spidery lash with it. Although I haven't been doing that as much lately. It hasn't been like my number one thing to do. I like the fact that you can get both the wispy and the gunky lash with this. That's half of what I love about it. And the other half is just, you know, the packaging, the branding. I just, it's just the sweetest. It's so beautiful, but it's time for it to go. I thank you so much, Gucci Mascara, for seeing me through such happy times. You were a delight. What a treat to be able to own something like this for part of my life. So these are the survivors, the Make Beauty Lash Prototype, the Gen C Mascara, and the Chantecaille Mascara. I am going to be using, I can just tell you, I'm going to be using the Chantecaille one the most. This is like my everyday. The Gen C one, I'm still working on for a review. If I were going to buy one of these, I'd buy Lash Prototype, I think. I mean, maybe if I were only going to buy one mascara and I knew that I was going to own it for like five or six months, if I knew that I was just buying one mascara a year, you know, or two, I guess, two a year and just going to own one at a time and just, you know, buy two a year. Maybe I'd buy the Chantecaille, thinking of it as like an investment in the health of my lashes in addition to being makeup, you know? I could maybe see myself doing that. But if I were just, you know, buying a mascara, wanted it to be kind of high-end, but wasn't willing to go down that luxury route, I think I'd buy Lash Prototype. But I'll report back about Gen C. It's been promising so far. Okay, so nine mascaras are going, three mascaras are staying. That was very satisfying. I'm really looking forward to putting these back in my drawers, having so much more space, and not feeling like I'm always having to choose among 12 mascaras. Thank you for watching this little mascara declutter. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more, and please don't forget to take extra good care of yourself so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world.